actually went to college with my really good friend. We were college roommates, um, Laura, and she was a member of a very skinny, blonde, wealthy sorority at my, at my university. And um, I actually was not able to join a sorority. I was a theater major. I studied acting, and we were not encouraged to get involved in Greek life. Um, because being a theater major was like being in a sorority or a fraternity. But my roommate um, was a part of this really perfect sorority, and I always used to watch them and think they would all wear pink and they were all really perfect and they had their makeup and their hair perfect. And I thought, what would that be like if I, if I was a sorority girl and I wasn't in that sorority? <laughs> I don't know what kind of sorority I would end up in, but it must be really easy to hate them if you were not one of them and you were a sorority girl. So... Granted, Laura, my really close friend, I call her Lorita, and all of her sorority sisters were very um, lovely and sweet um, to me, anyway. But, um, I, you know, I, 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 it's just such a hierarchy in that whole world, and I thought it was so much fun, and I wanted to experience it myself. So, here we are. If I had to give you one slightly embarrassing college moment, I would say it was when I was got cast in... Uh, a play called Lysistrata at my college, and we all had to get topless. The girls did, I mean. Well, and the guys did too. But the really cool thing about it is we got topless and then we beat the shit out of a bunch of guys. I thought it was badass. <laughs> In real life, I'm actually a real sorority girl. I was a Cap Kappa Gamma. Interesting story, we actually had a ghost that lived on our hall. It's crazy. There was, in the 70s, there was this blonde girl that fell out of a window when she was trying to climb into the window of her boyfriend's dorm, which was right next door. She fell and she died. Anyway, so she decided to come to our dorm and haunt us. In the middle of the night, one night, we heard this blood-curdling scream. True story. Not making this up. I swear to God. Um, and it was kind of the girl that you would never think would scream. She was like the badass of the sorority. Anyway, she claimed that she saw a blonde girl sitting at her desk and turned, and she thought it was her roommate that was blonde. And when she said, Allie, what are you doing up? Her roommate said, Amber, that's not me. And they both freaked out and ran to the other side. And we were all so scared. They didn't sleep in their room for about two weeks and none of us really slept. So it was scary and it was real.